Hi everyone, today is headlines. Nagaland to receive rupees 200 crore as special assistance. Nagaland reports 31 new COVID-19 cases and 28,000 in India. Mang Kolamba organization serve ultimatum to Nagaland government. Parat Bund, hundreds of farmers block highways in Punjab and Haryana. Cyclone Gulab, three dead and thousands evacuated in Odisha and Antra. Cyclonic storm weakens into deep depression. News in details. Nagaland to receive rupees 200 crore as special assistance. Nagaland, including six other states, will receive capital project worth rupees 200 crore each from the Department of Expenditure Ministry of Finance under the special assistance to state for capital expenditure for 2021-22 scheme. The six other states are Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Manipur, Mizoram, Sikkim, and Tribura. An update from PIB informed. Meanwhile, Assam, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand have been allocated rupees 400 crore each. Nagaland reports 31 new COVID-19 cases and 28,000 in India. Nagaland recorded a single-day rise of 31 new COVID-19 cases on Sunday, taking the tally to 31,150. The state cumulative recoveries also increased to 29,062, with 48 more patients have recuperated in the last 24 hours, while the death toll stands at 647. According to an update from the Department of Health and Family Welfare, 19 positive cases were reported in Dimapur, 9 in Kohima, 2 in Tunsang, and 1 in Mokajong. India reports 28,000 new cases. India recorded 28,326 fresh COVID-19 cases taking the nationwide tally to 3 crore 35 lakh 31,498, according to data from the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The country also reported 260 deaths in the last 24 hours. The recovery of 26,032 patients in the last 24 hours increased the cumulative tally of recovered patients to 3 crore 29 lakh 2,351. Mangkolamba organization serve ultimatum to Nagaland government. Mangkolamba Awo Lenur Telungjam civil society organization comprising all ward chairman association of Mangkolamba, Watsu Mungdang Mangkolamba, Mangkolamba town students union and student bodies from the three ranges of Jangpet Kong, Japukong and Zurangkong have served an ultimatum to the state government to repair the road connecting Mangkolamba town with Merini Mokujung Road at Longnak. The joint memorandum also demanded the government to construct proper drains and new bridges in place of the old or weak ones by October 31. According to the statement, the 11 km road connecting the town with Longnak is the lifeline not only for the people of Mang Kolamba town but also for the larger part of the subdivision as many villages are reached via this road. Keeping this 11 km Mang Kolamba Longnak road in a good condition is a paramount as Mang Kolamba subdivision is situated in the strategic location bordering Assam but to great dismay. This road has been neglected by the state government for many years, leading to degradation of the road. Farad Ban, hundreds of farmers block highways in Punjab and Haryana. Farmer unions are observing Farad Ban demanding the scrapping of three central farm laws. Hundreds of farmers, especially from Punjab, Haryana and western Uttar Pradesh have been protesting at Singhu, Tigri and Ghazipur borders against the three agree laws since November 2020. The agitating Kisans are demanding repealing of the new Farmers Produce Trade and Commerce Act 2020, the Farmers Agreement of Price Assurance and Farmer and Farm Services Act 2020 and the Essential Commodities Act 2020, which were passed in September 2020. Opposition parties including Congress, Samajwadi Party, Aam Atmi Party, Telugu Disam Party, YSR Congress, Rashtriya Janata Dal, CPIM, have extended support to the Farad Ban call given by the farmer unions. The nationwide strike of the farmer unions have also received support from the government of Punjab, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, and Andhra Pradesh. Cyclone Gulab, three dead and thousands evacuated in Odisha and Antra, cyclonic storm weakens in deep depression. Three people were killed in Odisha and Andhra Pradesh as cyclonic storm Gulab made Landfall in the coastal region of the two states on Sunday evening. The cloud bands have touched coastal regions and thus the landfall process has commenced over north coastal Andhra Pradesh and adjoining south coastal Odisha, the IMD said. Thousands of people have been moved to storm shelters in the coastal areas of southern Odisha and northern Andhra Pradesh, officials said, while others were advised to avoid rivers and canals and stay at home. 
several national disaster response force and Odisha's disaster rapid action force teams have been deployed in 11 coastal districts of South Odisha. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Narendra Modi spoke to Chief Minister of both the state, Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy and Naveen Patnaik to review the situation and assured all possible support from the sender. Taking to Twitter, Prime Minister Modi wrote, assured all possible support from the sender, I pray for everyone's safety and well-being. That's all for now. To get this latest news, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.